guys. So this is going to be uh, part three for the uh, Remington 223 that uh, I'm building. We're going to, in this video, we're going to uh, bed the rifle uh, into the stock. Um, we've talked about, you know, the importance of bedding in class and in lecture, so I'm not going to get into all that here. Um, I'm just, this is just a basic video where I'm going to uh, uh, show you guys how I bet it. There's going to be a lot of text involved, not a lot of commentary, a lot of text involved, trying to keep these videos under 15 minutes. Um, and I'm just going to go over here in this part right here, the stuff that you're going to need, okay? So we covered earlier uh, in class uh, the different types of bedding compounds. So I have Marine Text right here, and I have uh, Pro Bed right here, okay? Um, doesn't matter to me what you use, if you use Acroglass, if you use Marine Text, if you use... Um, a pro bed if you use DevCon, I don't care. It's uh, it's all basically there's pluses and minuses for all of them. We covered all that in class. So for this particular rifle, um, for this for this uh, bedding job I'm going to do, I'm going to use the Marine Tex for this. Okay, so you're going to need Marine Tex or whatever uh, bedding agent you're going to use. Um, you're going to need some kind of a release agent. Uh, Johnson's Pace Wax is a good one. We talked about that. Um, a stick to mix it. Some acetone. Uh, for cleanup, and some if I can get them up, it, and some cotton balls. Okay, I use cotton balls when I do my cleanup. There's some guys who use Q-tips. I use cotton balls. I think it does a better job. So, well, when you see in the video of why we'll use these cotton balls, um, you're gonna need a clamp. Okay, when we get the your bedded action in there, there's different ways of doing this. You can wrap your action with surgical tubing. You can use a clamp where you're putting a slight bit of pressure on it to hold it in place. I like to use a clamp. Um, and most importantly, I believe, is your gloves. Okay, you gotta have your gloves because this is a very messy proposition. Bedding is a very messy thing. The compound goes all over the place. So, you know, wear some gloves. It's gonna make your cleanup a lot better. So with all that being said, and what we talked about earlier in the week about bedding uh, in class, let's get to the video and we will get this rifle bedded and uh, get on to the next step. Okay.
Okay guys, so I am all cleaned up. We're bedded in there. You guys can kind of see from the video that it is a sloppy, dirty mess, okay, when you're bedding, okay? So take my advice, I got some glare here, so I'll get over here. Take my advice when you guys are doing this, to so take your time and clean up, okay? Make sure you get everything all cleaned up uh, because it's all stuff that if you don't clean up, you're gonna, especially on your stock, you're gonna have to come back and sand later. Okay, so get it off your metal work, all that stuff. Make sure you, you totally clean up. All right, so that is it for this video. This rifle is bedded. We will take and um, take it out when it's, you kind of, before we go out, I kind of got like that curve right there. You see that? Because I'm trying to account for the shrinkage that I'm going to get with Marine Tex. Okay, so it comes up there against the side and, you know, makes it look like it's not half depth, but it is. It's just an illusion. Um, but, I got that kerf there, that little kerf on the side of the barrel there because Marine Tech shrinks. Okay, so when you guys are cleaning it up and you're coming across here and you're getting, you know, you're using your cotton balls and you're coming across and cleaning that off, um, account for that, that kerf right there. Okay, because if you get it so that it's level with your stock and whatnot, it's going to shrink. And when you go to take it out, it's going to have a little concave look to it, which doesn't look too good. Okay, so you want to sit there and get that kerf going to it. Okay. So this is ready for, um, I'll probably just leave it sit for, you know, at least four hours or so, five hours, maybe just take it out tomorrow morning. Um, but anyway, this is basically, this is basic how you do it, okay? When we uh, bed in class on Monday, um, I will do a more thorough um, uh, demonstration of how we're going to do this, but this is basically how we're going to go about doing it. Okay, so one of the things you guys may have noticed is I did not do the action I just did the barrel channel. That's because I already bedded this rifle once before. Um, I cleaned out the rear there where the action, where the recoil lug is. And you may have noticed that I did not put any um, bedding comp or any tape onto the recoil lug. And there's a reason why, and I'll get into that and lecture on, um, on Monday as well. So anyway, this rifle is bedded. Um, I will do another short video when I take it out and we'll clean it up and I will bring this rifle back in on um, next Monday and we're getting close to the final part where I'm going to um, paint this stock and going to go through and finish all the metal um, and get ready for this rifle to be finished. So we're closer and closer. So you kind of see why you want to bed the rifle first before you finish it. Okay, Even if it was a wood stock, you'd want to bed the rifle first because you saw all the, you know, all the the, 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 the epoxy that I was cleaning up off the side of it. Well, you know, if you, you went through and hand rubbed oil, you know, hand rubbed or Duracoated your stock or something like that, hand rubbed oil on your wood stock like those, or if you um, had already Duracoated this stock, well, you would have just took an acetone and wiped it all off. So anyway, um, this is the progression of we're going, all right? Things are going good. So I will talk to you guys uh, next week on Tuesday. Way to go.